Welcome to BBC News. North Korea has fired two unidentified missiles into the Sea of Japan, its fifth major weapons test in under three weeks. They were fired from near the northeastern city of Ham Hung. Here's the BBC's Laura Bicker with more details. The North Korean leader Kim Jong-un is continuing to test weapons while keeping the door to diplomacy with Donald Trump open. This latest launch comes just hours after the US president announced he'd received a beautiful letter from Mr Kim. Mr Trump said the North Korean leader was unhappy with South Korea and the US carrying out joint military exercises. The US president appeared to side with Mr Kim and said he wasn't a fan either. He wasn't happy with the test, the, the war game. The war games on the other side with the United States and and as you know, I've never liked it either. I've never liked it. I've never been a fan. You know why? I don't like paying for it. Pyongyang has sent a series of messages through state media criticizing Seoul and Washington for the war games. Meanwhile, analysts believe that the recent tests have allowed North Korea to perfect a new type of short-range ballistic missile, which would be maneuverable in the air and would test the US and South Korean missile defense systems. Laura Bicker there. The former U.S. State Department diplomat Mintaro Oba gave the BBC his take on the significance of these tests. Well, you know, it may seem surprising, but in reality, it's a reflection of something that's been true all along, which is that the United States and North Korea have not resolved the fundamental issues that have kept them at a diplomatic impasse uh, in the last year. Uh, both sides have not demonstrated the flexibility needed to make any real progress on denuclearization, uh, on key questions such as sanctions relief and, and so forth. Um, and I think what North Korea is doing now is a reflection of the, the frustration that comes with not resolving those more fundamental issues. The North Koreans are conducting these launches in a very calculated, restrained way. They want to escalate tensions, but not so much that it uh, makes diplomatic progress with the United States impossible in the future.